<laughs> if you're afraid or worried about spiders, then it's best not to listen to this. <laughs> In the corner of my kitchen, I've got some special indoor spiders. They're actually called daddy long leg spiders. <laughs> and they're rather unusual because they don't build a normal sort of spider's web. Uh, it's a scaffold web and it's here, there and everywhere. So occasionally in the morning I walk through the kitchen and I can feel some spider's web sort of just draped across my face. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoy watching them and a very large blue bottle has just flown into one of these scaffolding nests and suddenly three daddy long leg spiders have appeared from behind my Welsh dresser. <laughs> and it's amazing. And the largest of the daddy long leg spiders, and I'm holding a little camera, has just sized up the blue bottle fly and is just cutting away some of the webbing and it's just started cocooning this very tasty breakfast in a spider's web. And the little tiny web, it's microscopically thin, is coming out of the abdomen, the spinneret, and each end of the web is held by one of the spider's legs. And it's spinning around the fly as fast as it possibly can and it's gradually wrapping the fly up and I can see it absolutely perfectly. I'm going to see if I can get this little camera as close as I possibly can. I'm sorry if this is sending shivers up and down your back but spiders uh, perform such an important role out in the Norfolk countryside. Whether they're out in the open I often see the fabulous webs uh, in between the strands of barbed wire on the horse fields but I'm just watching this because it's absolutely fascinating it just it's using its hind legs and it's passing the thread all the way around the back of the fly and then pulling the web with its other leg but it's done at sewing machine speed it's just one of those marvels of nature. We don't need to visit other planets to see fantastic things because we've got one happening right in front of us. And that spider must have got a hundred or more webs around and it's only been going under a minute. It's doing a circle about two or three times a second. And gradually the spider's getting closer and closer to the blue bottle. It was doing it at quite a distance to start with and vibrating the whole web as it stretched its legs out as far as possible in case it was uh, something that might sting the spider. So it's made that fly completely safe and it's all ready for a kind of takeaway meal now. And <laughs> The web is still trembling from the attentions of the spiders and the other two, if I just put the camera up a little bit, they're both slightly smaller and they're about two inches leg span and the little body in the middle of the spider is probably less than a quarter of an inch. So they're very diminutive this time of the year but they will grow a little bit larger and this is the largest one of the three so you can see it's a little bit of pecking order if you like going on here and it started to spin again and it's cocooning. I mean, that poor fly's wings are as tight as they possibly can be against the body. And so it's all ready to be eaten. And you can actually see, if I get it even closer, I'm within about two inches holding the camera now. You can actually see the little spinneret going around. And it's absolutely, it looks as though it's walking up and down in midair, the spider very difficult to describe but it's actually passing the little spider's webs between its each leg and round the back of the fly at the same time and pulling it round so it's actually encircling the fly it must be one of the miracles of nature that I'm watching here I'm sorry if you don't like spiders but I absolutely love them because it is just an incredible feat and the spider is holding on to its own web with the spare two or three legs there 
and using just the two legs right at the rear of the body and it's getting very close to the fly now it's only what uh, an inch away and it's almost up to the spider now they've almost joined as one insect there look at that just absolutely incredible and I'm sorry if I put you off your breakfast <laughs> but this spider hasn't been put off his breakfast and it's just a fascinating sight which is why I love all the different forms of Norfolk wildlife there is always something to learn even in my kitchen <laughs> it's just an amazing sight there we are spider with wrapped up meal there we are the two hind legs actually on the fly now as a spider comes in ready to imbibe all the juices inside that fly and it's now going to pull it away behind my Welsh dresser out of sight there we are no insecticides involved and perfect control of a blue bottle fly perfect <laughs>